Yeah, Steve, Senator Bud, we have to remember, was the galvanizing force here. Without him getting up on the Senate floor about a month ago, we would not have known that some of these hostages were from our state, were from North Carolina. So today we tuned in to see what Senator Bud had to say. The junior senator from North Carolina talking for about eight minutes on the Senate floor this afternoon, late this afternoon. He said while everyone is grateful for the release of some hostages over the past few days, all of them need to be freed. Bud putting a lot of the blame on Cut saying the country is hosting Hamas's political leaders and our government should be doing more, should be pressuring them to stop doing so. Bud mentioning North Carolina hostages by name, this time including Keith Siegel, who grew up in Chapel Hill. Bud's message here tonight. And I've met with the families of hostages right here in Washington. I've heard their stories. I look at their photos every day on my desk. Every day that these families have to live with the pain and uncertainty, it's unacceptable. We must stand united and say, not one more day. And we will continue to follow what the senator has to say. His idea is to bring Hamas leaders to the U.S. so they will face justice here in a U.S. court. Lauren and Steve, back to you.